Yeah. <laughs> Kill Squad Gate. And it was like, uh, I don't think the fan, I mean, they were heavily invested in the beat, but I don't think that we covered hip hop. I, I think, Ken, you know what I'm saying? We didn't cover, we never covered most of the topics. I feel like you were frustrated with that. It was a lot of, uh, what do you call it when you start a topic? Tangents. It, tangents. Yeah, tangents. There was a lot of tangents. I'm bad at it. He's very bad at it. Mm. I'm bad at it. But DW, he don't know that he in the podcast he used to get an interview mm. with the shit that I had. So he'll be like, and go left. And sometimes I do look at somebody like DW and I'm like, maybe you should have gave him a little bit more coaching in the beginning because like we try out so many people on this podcast that like very rarely do I like sit down with them and say like, this is what we're doing. I need you to be like this. I need you to, you know, don't do too much of this. Don't do too much of this. It's more like coaching on the fly because I don't really know what the fuck people are going to be like on camera. And so we actually get in that environment. But then sometimes it's like, you know, you sit down with somebody for two, three hours and you do a podcast and you've got like in your head, you've got, three, four things that you're like, okay, they really need to work on this. But you just had a three hour conversation. I don't really, I want to go home. I want to smoke yeah. weed and go to bed. I don't want to fucking sit there and have another 45 minute conversation. At this point here, Brick Baby and Adam are just going back and forth with how much DW Flame is not ready for the MO Jumper Bright Lights. Brick Baby thinks that he is better with tangents or better with following orders. Since when do tangents, transitions, or whatever they were trying to say matter with the show. So, what about the other qualities DW Flame bring to the table? As the only one we really trust to be the most authentic, that adds a value of balance that is needed on the platform. Adam seems to believe that people who make videos about Emo Jumper hates the brand, but the truth is we don't hate the brand at all. The mere fact that we spend time watching some of the videos is to see if you will show us a miracle and start to actually embrace the culture with truth and love. But we ultimately know that every time you try to spray a new bottle of designer cologne or perfume on that big pile of stinky rotten content producing toxic channel that you call the number one in hip hop media, you will fall flat on your face again in some way, shape or form for us to let the rest of the world see for themselves. But when Adam mentions how he does not have time to keep coaching DW Flame before and after each show, that contradicts the fact that he is telling them that he should start training the workers on what to do and expect. If that is how you want to start moving forward, why not start by coaching DW Flame? So, this is part of the big three of hip-hop media, when all you want to do is smoke weed and relax. Instead of helping to make the hosts the best that they can be, 